Hey, welcome to Go Minivan. Thanks for watching, and if you're new, welcome. And if you like what you see, subscribe, like, and tell a friend. Okay, so this is my mileage for today. And also, if this video is too slow, you can listen to me at twice the speed, okay? You can just click on the settings on your YouTube screen. Okay, so today, I'm very excited. I'm gonna do a carb accessory review. Today, I'm doing the Tecton 5941, a digital tire gauge, and it goes up to 100 PSI. Now, it's kind of light. It's 2.4 ounces, and the, the size of this item, the gauge here, is 8.2, 4.5 by 1.5 inches. It's really handheld friendly and really tiny. So let's see what this is about, all right? This is straight from the box. And what this does is it measures the air pressure in your tires. And it does it digitally too. So it comes straight from the box, if you can see. And this is it. It's really adorable. It hits right in the size of your hand. It almost looks like those like Pez dispensers, really small. Or if you think about like when you go to um, a doctor and they test your ear, it looks like those machines that little handheld device so this is the nozzle where it goes to the tire and here is the screen where it measures the pressure that you want to see and here's like the little nozzle to see where it is and here's the little nozzle to put your finger on to test so I'm testing this for the first time and um, let's see where this goes the batteries are included which is great the first thing you know is how much pressure your tire takes in and this is really easy to find you could either find it on Google but in our car um, it's on the side of the indoor car and I'll show you where that is so if you can see it says front and rear tire it takes 36 pounds per square inch 36 pounds per square inch and in any car you know you could you could have a really big SUV a tiny sedan um, it could be different in any tire manufacturer, what, they, what, what, um, what the manufacturer recommends. So make sure you look that out too. You definitely don't want to over inflate your tire. A lot of people think that when you have a really over inflated tire, that's a really good thing, but not really. <laughs> so let's see what this is about, okay? Handheld, I'm just gonna really play with it first. So it gives you some settings, you can see. There are some different kinds of measurements that people might, might want to see. There's the typical pounds per square inch. There's, um, I think, a kilogram per square meter. There's a bar. Bar, I'm really familiar with bar on a bicycle tire, and a lot of those are measured in bars. There's a KPA, but I'm going to use the PSI. So I'm gonna go and test it out. So here's my driver's side front tire. This is the tire, this is the rim, and here is the nozzle. So this is the nozzle. I'm taking off the cap. Whenever I take off the cap, make sure I put it in my pocket or somewhere where I always know where it is. You wait till it comes, you wait till it turns off. You insert the tire gauge into the nozzle. and you just press. So it's at around 26, 25 pounds per square inch, which is very underinflated. So that's a good thing to know. I'm gonna put the cap back on. And then I'm gonna go and test the other tires, the three other tires. I just wanna say so far I'm loving this little device. It's digital, so it has a clear reading compared to that stick that pops out which it's a really hard time to get a clear reading on that so this is the rear tire now the rear tire is at 32 pounds per square inch much better so the front tire is pretty under inflated so i'm going to put the cap back on and go to the passenger side tires. 
I'm just, and I toggle at the beginning. I toggle which setting I wanted to go, and I like to do that. that P, and I like to do the PSI. Now the rear passenger tire is at 20. So that one. So this tire is really underinflated. This is really good to know. And then lastly, this is the passenger side front tire. Now the front passenger tire is at 36 or 35 PSI, and that's really good. Diagonal, diagonally, the driver front and then the passenger rear are very deflated. This is, and this is really good to know. I have grown really into tires. It's so good to have good inflated tires. A couple of things is that you're not gonna have a tire steering wheel that's gonna pull a lot. It's gonna pull left or right when you're driving. But not only that, you're gonna have better gas mileage because it's gonna have a more equally level uh, chassis in the, in the car and less surface tension. So I'm a really big stickler for really good tire pressure. And now you can have a really good clear reading with this um, device, this tire gauge device. And it's digital too, so you're not gonna have the, the guess how much it is. And I'm just to prove my point, I'm gonna, we do have one of those old-fashioned stick readings, and I wanna tell you just how um, it's kind of hard to get a reading from those sticks, okay? Remember this tire was at 35 PSI, and I'm gonna use the old-fashioned stick, the one that shoots out, uh, and let's see what that says. Okay, it's actually pretty clear. It's well, well, first of all, these a lot of the readings have been rubbed off. A lot of these readings have been rubbed off, but it looks like it's about 32, 32, and I'm gonna try one more time. Okay. This was actually a pretty good reading this time. A lot of times, if you do it multiple times, it's it could be from a 20 to a 30, and I don't know which one to trust. Um, other than the readings, other than the readings kind of being rubbed off, it's still pretty good. But uh, I do have to say, I really like that digital reader because it's clear and it seems like it's more straightforward. So I'm putting the last cap back on. Okay, so final thoughts. This was my first time seeing it. You saw as how I saw it. Open the box and I tried it right away. It was, it is very straightforward. There's no complex buttons, no two, three buttons, one single screen to read, and it's really straightforward. I, um, I really can't help but like this device. I guess if anything, um, the only thing I'm concerned about is the battery. It comes with batteries, which is great. And I saw on Amazon, it's not the typical AAA, AA batteries. It looks like it's a special kind of battery. So if this thing does run out, um, I'm not sure if I have to just replace the batteries or I have to order a new one, which I, I don't want to do that. But in the meantime, I really like it. Again, it's, um, it's really nice. And I'm going to put it in my glove compartment so that I could test out my tires. And in the meantime, I have to put air into two tires. <laughs> All right, so let me know what... Oh. <laughs> Got a little smudge there. Okay, so that's it. That was the review. Let me know what you think. Did you like it? Is this something that you would get or not get? Do you generally check on your tire pressure anyways or not really? Uh, let me... I'm, I'm really curious what you think and uh, if this is something worthwhile. This was a review for the Tecton 59401 tire digital tire gauge thanks for watching i really appreciate you watching this is go minivan i make minivans i make videos about my minivan inside my minivan if you like what you see comment below subscribe like and you gotta tell a friend i would really appreciate it again thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next ride bye